The Speaker of Parliament, Alban Bagbin, on Thursday, November 10, referred the minority's censure motion to an eight-member ad hoc committee. The Finance Minister, Ken Ofuriata, who was present on the first day of the committee sitting, is expected to open his defence in subsequent days. His counsel, Gabi Ochredako, requested for the full list of evidential documents from the proponents which were provided. So all we are asking for are two things. You can give us a whole list of the documents which we don't have physically, but that list will lead to an expedition which is wide, particularly when we have one week here. So I think that the first part of our request, which is full particulars of the facts in support of each of the allegations contained in the letter, must be first adhered to. And then that the supporting document. Haruna Idrisu and Dr. Atoforsen then went on to argue, based on their seven grounds, the need to censure the minister. The cost of doing business is unacceptably high for businesses. The pharmaceutical industry is complaining because it affects their imports and they are made to pay more. The depreciation of the city has affected even Makwala women who cannot trade effectively. Section 4 of the Fiscal Responsibility Act, Act 982, says that Parliament may, in accordance with Article 82 of the Constitution, pass a vote of censure on the minister where the minister breaches Section 2 of more than one percentage point. Anytime you exceed it by 6%, a vote of censure may be presented to Parliament or somebody may trigger the vote of censure on you. May. Again, Section 2 says that the primary balance must always be positive. So if you breach it by one percentage point, then obviously the vote of censure may trigger. In the year 2018, our minister responsible for finance and the government had said to Parliament that the fiscal deficit was 3.9% of GDP. In fact, in the year 2018, the reason why they said it's 3.9% of GDP was that a key expenditure worth 8.9.8 billion Ghana cities was excluded from the fiscal accounting. They, were treat, they treated it below the line. And this has to do with the financial sector payment. So, Mr. Chairman, if you are to account for the 9.8 billion Ghana cities that they excluded and treated it below the line, the actual fiscal deficit for the year 2018 was 7.1% of GDP. Clearly means that the censorship motion in line with uh, section, section 4 of Act 982 triggers. Sitting resumes Wednesday, November 16.